Hey guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to create your own script executor. So, uh, yeah, this was requested, so now I'm just going to be doing it. So first, of course, you want to insert a screen GUI into start a GUI. Next, insert a frame. So, now we just drag this frame down here and expand it a little bit. Now we want to make the box, like the code box. So I'm just going to center this um, text box. And now I'm going, I'm just going to make the text scaled. I'm not going to make this pretty. I'm just going to try to make it. So text scaled, placeholder text, code here. Okay. Code here. I'm just going to make it bolded. Okay. So we have our little uh, executor. Now. It's not really done, but still. We have the script bar for code. Now, uh, now we want to insert the button that actually executes the code. So I'm just going to make it the execute button. This will be, um, I'm going to have a much better version of this in the description. So if you guys, yeah, if you guys want to just go there right now, you guys can get it and not watch this. But, um, yeah, so I'm just going to make this the execute button, and I'm going to scale it just like that. So now we have the, uh, the execute button, so the text button, so I'm just going to name it execute. And the text box is going to be, um, the text box is just going to be the uh, bar, it's a code bar. Okay, next, you want to insert a remote event into this. Now, okay, so insert this remote event, and I'm just going to name it execute event. No, no spaces. Doesn't matter if you do this. So as I said before, I'm just going to kind of do this. I'm not going to do it really detailed or anything. So what you want to do is script, first put a script in the um, execute event. Now in the script, do script.parent dot on server event, connect function, and then when you fire a server event, it always, uh, it always sends the player first, so the player name. So it's going to be the player and then the code. Now in that, you want to search up load string on in toolbox and this is a module I'm gonna have this module link in the description and all you want to do is do local load string is equal to require script dot load string which I put the load string module into the script and now you want to do load string first parentheses code and then one more parentheses now, this one you have to have, or it won't work. Uh, if you don't put don't put anything in here, or it won't work. Just saying. Okay, so next, you want to go to the execute button and put a local script. Okay. In this local script, you want to do script.parent dot mouse button and click connect function. And yeah. Okay, so this is when when the execute button is clicked, what do we need to do? Uh, so we need to fire the event of the code. script.parent.parent.executeEvent um, dot, or just fire server. And now you want to do script.parent.parent.codebar.text. So now we will, once we press the execute button, it should fire the event and the load string will activate, basically. Okay, so now I'm just gonna, for code here, I'm just going to put game.players. This will kick me. Dot Dennis himself. Kick. Okay, this code should kick me. So I'm going to execute it in 3, 2, 1. As you can see, the executor has just kicked me. You can do uh, 
more advanced versions of this. Um, yeah, so you can make this look much better than I did. I just um, I just tried to get through the video. Uh, so also, I'm gonna have the executor in the description. I'm gonna have this. I just created this this morning. So I'm gonna have this in the description. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you have a good day. Hope you guys wash your hands. Um, yeah, just stay safe, I guess. Um, so I hope you have a good day.